imply q and q therefore p is this valid form of argument let me change the color so as you can see this is the premise another premise and this is the conclusion first we are going to uh, draw up the truth table we have p and q two logic variable each one will take two possible uh, input zero for false one for true since there are two uh, there are two variables so you have two to the power two which is four possible uh, input combination zero 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 one one zero and one one uh, as mentioned this is one of the one of the premise the other premise is p imply q now let us evaluate p imply q p imply q will be false if p is true look for p is true and then q is false that gets you uh, false any other combination it is true okay now let me erase the junk we want to look at when this is true and this is true uh, i.e. here and here here and here okay i.e. this one and this one now we also want to look at the conclusion conclusion is the p look for when the when the premise are true and then the conclusion false the premises are true and then the conclusion is false the premises are true and then the conclusion is true for this case for this row not cancel for this row it's okay but for this one we have a problem because the premise is true and then this is true and then you get a false therefore this form of argument is invalid because of true and true cannot give you false it should get you true so there's a name for this it's called the fallacy of affirming the consequence to answer to the original question is this a valid is this a valid form of argument the answer is no we cannot say p imply q and q is true p imply q is true q is true therefore p this is a wrong form of argument done thank you for watch watching hope that the video is informative and helpful before you go make sure you subscribe share comment and don't forget to hit or smash the 